Hello. Today we'll talk about a game called 2048 that went viral a couple of years ago due to its simplicity and incredible gameplay. Let's take a look how it is working and if we can achieve the similar result in under 5 minutes. As usual starting with HTML template. And again we'll use table as our game field. Then let's code a function that will create rows and columns in our table. Remember that field is 4x4 cells. Here again we are doing very basic HTML DOM manipulations. Actually I see this doing in almost every example. Maybe anyone has an idea how to improve it or do with less code. If so, please leave a comment below. Next step, adding styles for our cells. Nothing fancy here, just black border around. After it we can check the first result and should see just empty 4x4 table with cells. Firstly let's define our game model. It will be a 4x4 cells array that will contain numbers. Note that 0 represents empty cell. And also let's implement a function that fills a random empty cell. With 90% probability it will be 2. In other cases it will be filled with 4. Draw function is also quite trivial. It iterates through cells and draws them in the table. Remember that 0 is an empty cell. Finally we can adjust our init function and add their logics to generate 3 random tiles and draw them. Next step. Define placeholders for functions for moves in all 4 directions. We'll implement them a bit later. Also adding key press event listener. Now the tricky part starts, we need to implement a sliding functionality. It should deal with moving and collapsing tiles. Let's break this task into smaller parts and let's imagine that we want to slide only one row to the left. Technically it is a one-dimensional array. There are several steps here. First one is to remove all empty cells. Next step is to check if there are two same elements standing next to each other. If so then we double the first one and clear next one. After this step we can again have empty cells in between. Again remove empty cells. And last but not least, we should keep the length of our array. The slide left is just a slide of all rows. For sliding right we can make a trick. Slide right is essentially the same as mirror the board. Then slide left and then mirror the board again. Implementing this solution. For this we'll need also supporting function that swaps two cells. Let's check results in the browser to see how it looks. Sliding up and down also requires a trick to reuse existing functionality. This trick involves mirroring the board against main diagonal. It's also called transposing. Then sliding up is three-step process. Transpose, slide left, transpose back. Let's implement it. OK, right now we have all movements implemented. We can check in the browser and we see that we have basic logics implemented already. However we have a problem here, if no tiles are moved it is still considered as a valid move and new tile is generated. We need to fix it and check if there was an actual move done. Let's update all our move functions so that they return true if something was changed during the move. Not the best implementation but it should work. An update key press handler to proceed to next move only if it was a valid move. Now I want to add some colors to the game. It will not be the same colors as in original game. But let's choose something on our own based on hue saturation lightness color scheme. If you want you can play around on your own and figure out nicer colors. And the last bit remaining for us. We need to check if the game is over. Let's implement game over function. The logics is the following. First of all if there is an empty cell, this means that the game goes on. Also even if there are all cells filled there might be two neighbor cells that can be collapsed. We need to handle both cases.
I think we are done with implementation of this game. Let's try it out and try to lose quickly. It might not be so easy as it seems. I will speed up the video here. Finally the game is over. That's it for today.